Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. Well, it's not bad. I'm declaring this will turn around. You know, my last video I put up, I believe it was the very last one, on a praise report for little Georgie, the four-year-old that was real sick. He wouldn't eat. I don't even think he was drinking. His fever wouldn't come down. Well, anyway, then it broke, and he was eating and drinking. So everybody was, you know, yay, praise God, and all that. A few were telling me they were still praying for Matthew. Someone said that last night the Lord woke them up in the middle of the night to pray for Matthew. Well, here's why. I texted Rosie yesterday at 9.30. We wait yesterday at 9.30. She sent me a picture of him sleeping. Precious baby. All right, then I said, how is he? Well, this was 3.01 p.m., I guess. Okay, this is weird. Thursday at 9.30. Okay, I turned my phone off to pray. I didn't see this until 3.01 p.m. Yeah. I've been resting a lot. Well, anyway, I said, how is he? Because all I got was a picture. And she, I said, has his fever come down? So I'm telling you in, in real time now what's been said. She said yesterday, I believe. Well, it said 301. It's today, I'm sorry. Day number 11. It comes down, meaning his fever, and shoots right back up. This has been causing the death of a few people. Megan and Joshua, I think that's his sister, and Joshua's the baby, I think, also had it, but they pulled through. My precious Matthew. I know she's been real close to Matthew. Anyway, I said, this is what I said, and I want everybody to declare this with me. I declare right now, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that this fever shall break today. Whatever is causing this shall die Matthew will recover in Jesus name I declare it Satan you will not take his life even though you know he will go straight to heaven I plead the blood of Jesus over and throughout Matthew's body for complete healing in Jesus name the name above all names I declare this boy shall live. Then I asked her to keep me posted, please. And I asked, did he get a flu shot? First she says, Amen. Many exclamation marks. That was to my, my prayer. Then she said, no immunization for her children. I had forgotten. She was like one of us, uh, well, those of us who are anti-vax, you know. He's a homeschooled child. And she said, I will keep you posted. All right, now there's another picture of him. He's got monitor monitors on. All kind of lines and oxygen. Bless his heart. He's waking up from surgery. Now listen to this. He was so frightened. But then he said, Glory to God in all things. And that's what he said. His, his mom is Summer. And my friend said, Summer and I stand on God's promise to use Matthew. We know God has plans for Matthew. Okay, so at least he's awake. His color looks good. 
11 days. Just keep praying. God will heal this child. I declare it and I'm standing on the promises of God. Surely to goodness, with the kind of church she goes to, that would be summer and takes her children, they would have elders that would anoint this boy with oil and declare his healing, I would think. I, I wish I could show you. Maybe I can, can I make it bigger? There, there's, he has kind of long hair. There, that's, there you go, that's pretty good right there. That's Matthew waking up from surgery. Now, I don't know anything about surgery. I wonder if he could have had something like, remember the boy in God's Not Dead? Or, uh, no, no, no. Heaven is for real. They thought he had the flu because his sister had the flu. And it turned out he had an appendix bust. And he died and went to heaven. He had to end up having surgery. Well, she she give me more details, but that's all we've got right now. God bless you, little Matthew. Sweet little baby. I remember when she, he was like four years old. He used to stand up on the top step and preach like a preacher. He did that a few years. Anyway... He's a blessing. He's a real blessing to that family. Aren't all children, though, really? Aren't all of our children blessings? They sure are. And I pray for all you mamas and daddies out there that have children, you know, young ones, that you will raise those children to love Jesus. Because I didn't. I took them to church. I taught them about serving. My one daughter and I took the nursery when I was nursery director and we took care of all the babies. Well, there wasn't that many on Sunday night for a whole summer to give the mothers a break. And Laurie took the little toddler area and I took the newborn area. But they weren't far apart, you know, so I could... I usually had like one infant, maybe two. And usually one of the mothers would end up staying. She just didn't want to leave her little boy. <laughs> Better to play with him than go to church, I reckon. Anyway, some moms are like that. Overprotective, you know. But, uh... I didn't really ever sit them down and teach them. You know, I was never really taught about relationship. How to have a relationship with our Lord. That, that's been a, that's been something that developed over after I married my last husband, <laughs> so soon after he was gone for three days, <laughs> okay, y'all know anything about uh, abuse, that happens. I don't mean physical spousal abuse, I mean of substances. And it was like, what's, I was like in culture shock, you know, and I would cry and ask God, so this is what you thought I deserved when I asked you for a spouse? And I soon realized I should have been asking instead of for another spouse how to become closer to him. 
I should have been doing what I'm doing now. You know, oh my gosh, I got a number, y'all. Oh, let's look it up. Um, anyway, okay, let me do that. I got to click on here. File, new tab, 750. Seven fifty. I know some people don't believe in this, but I know my computer. And I've been recording seven fifty ten minutes and fifty three seconds. Okay, ten fifty. Okay, I got myself in the way again. Arkapoyman, Arkapoyman, chief shepherd of Christ, the head of the church, Akipoyman from G746 and G4166, a head shepherd, a chief shepherd, that is Jesus our shepherd. And it occurs one time. And when the ch in First Peter five four, and when the chief shepherd shall appear, ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. Wow, that's just a little gem from Jesus. But I'll go ahead and look up the Hebrew. Another one of his promises. A rack from H748 means slow, long suffering, long winged. Yeah, that's long winged, like a bird or patient. Long pinions. Or two, patient, slow to anger, long-suffering. Huh, that's strange. Long, and then it goes parentheses, suffering-winged, closed parentheses. How do they get suffering and winged together is beyond me. Anyway, it's used many, many times in the Old Testament. Let's read one. O Lord, thou knowest, remember me, and visit me, and revenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away in thy long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Better is the end of a thing. That, oh, by the way, that was Jeremiah 15, 15, in case you were wondering. This is Ecclesiastes 7, 8. Better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. And the patient in spirit is better than the proud in spirit. I don't understand that. Anyway, that's the Hebrew. I think it means the, uh, the Greek. So anyway, take it for what you want. Um, that's all I wanted to say is really to give you an update. And then we got, you know, that's just, is that coincidence? That we got that little gem from Jesus, another little promise? I y'all decide. It doesn't matter to me. I think it is. I don't believe in coincidences when it comes to Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, especially when I've been praying. I need to hear from you, Lord. I need to hear from you. And by the way, the Lord has closed the door for me to get in 607. 
but he's opened up a better door in 601. I'm going to get a one bedroom, which I need. You should see my apartment with stairs coming up to my bed and stairs coming up to the chair. We need more space. They had to call the medics for me yesterday, and I was in another person's room. And someone put my dog in my apartment, and that made him mad. <laughs> he does not want to be taken away from me when I'm sick. I didn't have to go to the hospital. I was able to refuse. I Anyway, it's a long story, but... I'm okay. I'm just that much more tired today. I tell you what, I might have been an attack, but I've been putting up with so much stress and lack of sleep that it affects me. And it made me have a convulsion. So you see, two days of quiet, and it started up again today. And even with two days of quiet, I still had a problem yesterday. It was early in the morning, so thankfully I got to rest most of the day. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know that's my good news. And I've got help lined up. I'm saving up what all I can. And I'm going to get some caregivers. And one of them's daughter... 14 year old daughter she says is strong and, and works good it's going to help me I could hire movers but they're going to want more so a month from now I'll have enough I'm pretty sure um, I got to check with the one and you know make sure what she would you know charge because I'm pretty sure she she understands she's been hearing it she takes care of a lady down the hall and they hear it so i i have more than adequate reason to have to move okay with that i'm gonna say i plead the blood of jesus over this video i claim healing for matthew i do declare that boy shall be well his fever will break and he will come home soon. That Lord, the Lord has plans for that boy. Whether it's just to miraculously show the staff this praying family and how he came out of it or what. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it will save one person. Do you know many people can't even say that. So. That could be the purpose. We, you know, we never know. We'll know when we get to heaven, won't we? So I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, my computer, and over each and every one of you, your devices, and your internet connection so we can stay connected until Jesus takes us out of here. I pray that whatever they got planned for the 31st of December, which was the real date, not the 10th. I'm not exactly sure. I can't explain it all. But um, I was reading through a lot of that stuff about the COPPA. And there may be some channels taken down that have exposed children or didn't declare that their videos were not for children so that they could keep monetizing, but yet they were making videos for children. You see, there's it's kind, it's kind of confusing. But um, anyway, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you probably tomorrow. But um, I'm praying to the Lord for what he wants me to bring you next, okay? And then this came up. Um, I was replying about Georgie being well and replying to some of those comments that I had missed it three days ago. And then I thought, ooh, I got to...
give him an update on Matthew because I got that today. Okay, so bye for now, y'all. I'll talk to you later.